Hi, Aries. Okay. We are going to do a quick Twin Flame mini read for you. I have a new deck. I have an itching to use it. I have my light going so you guys can see me. All right, let's dive right in. I'm going to start with the tarot first, then I'll use my love message deck to clarify, okay? I've already cleansed my space and cleansed myself. What do we have for Aries? Aries 4. Just hold my little love quartz. Rose quartz for a second. What do we have for Aries? What does Aries need to know about their flame journey right now at this moment? This is going to be a timeless read, guys, okay? What does Aries need to know about their twin flame journey right now? What does Aries need to know? Ooh, Aries, as we're entering into Gemini season, you are you are right up there in Gemini energy. You got the lovers, the magician, this person, the reunion that you have been trying to manifest, I feel like it's right around the corner, Aries, okay? It didn't come easy though it was a tough ride huh you kept feeling like this person was never gonna make a choice and it really messed with your energy but they're making a choice Aries okay they're making a choice to come forward to you they're making a choice to make a public display of how they feel about you okay the first card that came out oh I can't pick this up with my nails <laughs> is the lovers we have the lovers okay and then we have the magician so that shows me that you've been trying to manifest this union for a while right and um you know but it hasn't been easy the next cards that came out were the ten of swords and the six of wands so this shows me that this person is making a they're going to make a public declaration of love okay but it's coming after a long period of like you don't even know at this point if you want it because i feel like this journey this twin flame journey has been very very rough on you oh look at that we have wheel of fortune and it came out in reverse so this person for the longest time like they they didn't think that you were they didn't think that they that they were meant to be in love, if that makes sense, okay? And these are going to be really, really quick reads, you guys. Let me get four more cards, please, for Aries. Oof, Aries. For some of you, there's some distance between you and they're going to they're going to cross that distance. We have fire sign energy here. They're no longer looking in the past. They are working towards this future commitment with you. Okay? We have fire sign energy. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but Knight of Wands did come out. We also have Taurus energy. Um, Leo, we have the Sun. But, you know, they're, they're ready to bridge that distance. Look, there is the distance. They're, they're ready to bridge that distance. They, they see, they see that you are their Sun, okay? They see that you are a major factor in their, ha in their happiness, Aries okay and there's a knight of wands energy they've made the decision and now it's coming very quickly right the, their, the decision to move forward with you came so quickly it even shocked them right but the thing is you've been very patient and now they're starting to realize that you are the one that contributed to their major happiness and because of this, okay, because of this, I 
feel like they want to come forward. Um, let's go ahead and get some messages from your person. And then we're going to close this reading out. Hi, May May. Oh, I got a message from Aries person, please. Ooh, thanks. <laughs> yep, I'm going to be out in just a second. Let me just finish this up, okay? Message from Aries person. What do we got? Messages. How are they feeling? Now let's wait for these cards to confirm what we got for Aries. One second. I'm going to fix this camera angle. Hold on, ready? Let's see. We get four cards. I'm not even going to flip them up yet because I don't want my eyes or energy to influence these cards. So I'm going to lay them out face down first. I know you can't see it, but you're going to have to trust me. And if you've been watching me for this long, that means you guys do have trust in me. You trust my guidance and you trust my love. And I love you back. Okay. Ready, Aries? First card we have is commitment. I told you. I told you. It says, I want you to be a part of my future. I feel shattered about this situation. Wow. Soul contract chemistry. Damn, Aries. Okay, look. Here's here's the first card. Give me a second. I'm struggling with these long nails to pick them up. See, I forgot how fun it is to have acrylics. <clears throat> okay, first card, commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. I told you I could see that they were understanding that you are their future. Okay. You are their future. They were understanding and it was, it came, it came slowly. Right. And it came tumultuously, <laughs> but they realize now that everything that they've been working towards, there was something missing. And this was the union that they wanted with you. Okay. And now they're feeling so in their feels about it. Look broken. I feel shattered about this situation. If you guys are in separation, they're feeling the separation. Don't doubt it, Aries. Here's your confirmation. They're feeling broken about the situation. They're feeling the, they're feeling the disconnect. Okay. They're feeling the disconnect. We have soul contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. See, so they had past soul lessons. They had karmic things that they had to tie up. They had loose ends that they had to tie up, right? And everything that started happening very quickly when they met you, it it scared them. It was, it was, I keep hearing too much too soon, too much too soon. So they were learning all of these karmic lessons. And at the same time, they were learning these lessons with you and they felt like things were moving so quickly and so fast and they just didn't know what to do, right? When everything, when the shit hit the fan, it was like, oh my God, you know, they were learning so much from you, with you in this connection. And then also they were learning stuff in life. And so it just became too overwhelming. And so they had to take a step back. I hope that makes sense, Aries. Chemistry. I've never felt a passion this intense. They feel it just as much as you do. If you're dealing with another fire sign, you know, when you guys get together, boom, it's like fireworks, right? So they're definitely feeling the disconnect. They're feeling it. Okay. Let's get one more outcome card from the tarot and we're going to close this reading. All right. Is there anything else you would like Aries to know as a final message for Aries? Anything else you want Aries to know from their person as a final message? Whoa. Okay. So we have the hermit card. Um, I feel like your person may have been in hermit mode for a while, but like I said, I feel this energy like this antsy energy of them wanting to come forward. So I wouldn't be surprised, Aries, if, you know, within the next couple weeks, this person is going to make a move forward. Okay. 
feel like I want to give one final card for you. Wow, yeah, this person really feels broken up about it. They feel like, look, Aries, they feel like you left them behind. They're really heartbroken about it. Wow, they're so in their head about it. And you know what? The, the, it's funny, Aries, is, is because, like, if they're another fire sign, um, fire signs are not used to feeling like that. They're, <laughs> or, you know, they're not used. As a fellow fire sign, I can tell you, we are not used to getting in our heads. We're not used to getting into our feels about anyone. So if this person is feeling like this towards you, they really feel like they may have messed this connection up with you and they want to make amends. Okay, so I hope this helped, Aries. I love you so much. Mwah.